Well, hey everyone, uh, Dr. Martin here again with another exciting and educational video, this time on Microsoft Word 2016 on the uh, Resource Manager feature. Now, this is a, an important tool if you're writing a lot of resource uh, rich papers or research papers, especially if you're writing a thesis or a dissertation for a graduate degree. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to switch over to Microsoft Word. Uh, 2016 here and I'll show you how to use this source. Now you notice this is a, a new document with no file name. So the first thing we should always do when we open up or when we create a new document is to make sure it is saved somewhere where we are going to be able to find it again and under a name that describes uh, the document. All right, let's save that real quick. Okay, so I'm writing my paper. Maybe I'm writing my paper on uh, training and development, and I look up some sources and I find a Wikipedia uh, article about training and development. So here I am. Right, there's some great stuff here. I want to make sure I'm saving this resource so I can use it later. And and one of the things I I hate about writing research papers is making sure I format all my references correctly. There are so many different types of references that I'm always either looking at my, you know, my how, uh, whatever, whatever it is, 16 uh, book, or I'm going to the Purdue, the Purdue online writing uh, lab and checking out the, uh, the formatting. They're always changing. And so if, if I want to cite this source uh, and make sure I have it, uh, cited correctly with in-text citations and um, at the end of my resources section, uh, for me, the best way to do it is to use the uh, source manager. Now, here I am in Word, and uh, you, right now you can see that we're in the home tab. These are all called tabs here, and this toolbar, this big, thick toolbar is called the ribbon, uh, if you ever see that reference and wonder what that means. So I'm going to go to the references tab, and in the references tab, I have a few sections here, and I'm going to focus on this section uh, titled Citations and Bibliography. So first, I'm going to click on Manage Sources. This is my resource manager. This is, is where I'm going to keep all my sources. You'll notice I don't have any sources in here yet, right? And so what I'm going to do first is click on uh, the New button right here, and that will pop up a little window and help me insert my new source. Now, the first thing, uh, where we're asked is what type of source it is, right? And so we click this drop down button right here and we could scroll through and we notice, man, there's a lot of them and each one of these are formatted differently uh, in our references section. And so we've got to make sure we, we are uh, doing this correctly. So uh, I have a, a something online, right? So let's see, uh, Wikipedia is uh, maybe a website or a document from a website or an electronic source. So it's one of those, right? It's something, and I wouldn't say it's an electronic source because that could be like a, a PDF paper online. It's not really a document. I would say just it's a website, but it's, you know, it's a, a very specific section of a website. So we'll just, we'll just say website. And you'll notice that the questions that, that we're, we're answering and the information that we're filling out changed. Right, it changes depending on what type of source you're um, adding in here. And so it knows exactly what it needs. So author, right? Well, let's see. If I go back to uh, Wikipedia, right, there, there isn't really an author listed. And so I'm going to say, well, this is a, a corporate author. So I'm going to just say corporate author, and I'm going to type in Wikipedia here. Um, name of the web page. Now, this is specific. It's not just um, the website Wikipedia, right? It's the web page. So you can see here name of web page, and then we'll put in uh, the name of the website. So it, it wants specific information. So um, we're going to call it uh, training and development because this is the training and development page within uh, Wikipedia. So I'm going to type that in here training and development hopefully i spelled that right and the name of the web the website is wikipedia and now the year 
uh, this is the year that it was last updated. I mean, what does this mean? Well, um, in, in the case of online sources, maybe it was written back in 2006, but for the most part, they're gonna be um, kind of current. And I know Wikipedia is updated constantly, so I can scroll down and see. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, here's some references here. Further reading. Um, this page was last edited uh, the 11th of November, 2017. Look at that, right here down at the bottom. Well, that was easy. Okay, so November 2017. So let's go back to Word. Um, we're going to say 2017. Um, November. And now sometimes, depending on who, uh, depending on, on who you ask, this is the, the day that it was accessed. But since this page has a very specific date that it was last updated, we're just going to go ahead and put that in uh, right there. And then the URL. And that's important because you want people to easily um, access your source. So we're going to copy and paste that uh, URL back into this section here. Um, and that's it, right? So uh, we click OK. And then we see that now in our master list, we have uh, this resource. And in our current list, we have this resource as well. And we can kind of see a little preview of what the reference is going to look like in our in our references section. OK, so I'm going to close that now. So let's say I'm, I'm typing my paper and I'm going to include some information that I found on Wikipedia. So I'll need to make sure I cite this source. So let's see, human resource management regards training and development as a function concerned with organizational activity aimed at bettering the job performance of individuals. Okay, so um, I can say, um, according to Wikipedia, training and development should be focused on improving. I can't spell, I'm going to fix that. Come on, come on focused on improving uh, the performance of, of the worker, right? And now I want to cite, do an in-text citation, right, of um, Wikipedia. And so I'm going to click on insert citation. And then it's gonna say, okay, here's your sources. And if I had like 20 sources, it would show me a list of all 20. So I'm gonna click that, right? And it's going to insert that source for me. And, and then um, and I can continue with my paper. Um, maybe I'll say, um, sometimes it feels like the purpose of trainings have been lost or misdirected at checking off boxes or fulfilling regulations um right so and you can see that I can't spell. It feels. I'm so grateful for spell check. Okay, so I'm I'm stating you know maybe my papers on you know the training sometimes is is um, is boring, right? And it's more about well just to say you did it instead of really helping people. Okay, so so here's my in-text citation. Now, and when I get to the back uh, end of the paper, I'm going to have to. Um, include all my references. But if I uh, click on this little bibliography uh, link here and say, okay, I'm going to do references, right? 
and then um, automatically it, in, it enters in to the end of the paper my references section. Now, as I add more resources, uh, more sources and cite them, uh, then it will continue to add more of these citations in the proper format to my references section and automatically keep them in alphabetical order. Now you'll notice that right now, or maybe you don't, this is an APA format. And you see the style here shows that we're in APA format, right? So, but what if we're supposed to write it in MLA? Did I, do I have to start again? No, I just click on this little drop down arrow and I go find MLA. And if you'll watch the reference and the, um, and the in-text citation, you'll see them change real quick. So and I'm gonna click on MLA and you'll notice the in-text citation has updated as well as the full reference at the end of the paper in the references section. Pretty cool, right? Um, so if you continue to in, you know, include and, and keep track of all your sources, it's really easy to um, insert the text citations and include them at the back of the paper. And now um, you have it in your um, in your in your software Word. And so, if you ever need to use that reference later on for another paper, uh, you can uh, use them. You can change, take them from the master list, and push them over to the current list, and and vice versa. Um, you can also, um, when you're adding a source, um, you can code them or tag them. With different names, uh, so that so it's easier for you to search uh, for them as well. So, pretty great uh, resource uh, manager we have here. Again, I paid a lot of money when I was writing my dissertation for a, for a program that did this, and I actually created a new tab in Word. Uh, but it was like 350 bucks, and it didn't even do everything um, that the this little uh, feature, this little tool does. So, so pretty cool use it, uh, learn how to use it. I think it'll save you a lot of time. And uh, remember that um, for me, I'm fine with you using Wikipedia. Other instructors might not want you to, but scroll down and look at all the references that is given from this entry. And we can just click on um, these references and go right to the source and, and read the, some of the content here and then use this for our source instead of Wikipedia. All right, so hopefully that um, that really helped you out, that you'll be able to uh, understand how to use that uh, section of Word. Uh, if you have any questions or, or, or comments, uh, email me or send me a text, and hopefully, hopefully that works. So thanks again. Dr. Martin signing off.